Hey guys and welcome back to this month's free assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So once again we've got 5 amazing free assets for us to download and use and we've got the Dismemberment and Bone Break, the Horror Dining Room, the Elite Landscapes Bundle Pack, the Surface Trails and the Fantasy Cave Environment Set. So I'm going to be going over all of these today giving you a quick overview of them and showcasing them on the channel as well. So without further ado let's get right into it. So the first one we're going to start with is the Dismemberment and Bone Break and this is the ultimate bone break dismemberment and gore system and I've got to say this one does look great. So it is fully network replicated with full body damage system with individual bone health and there are 16 different damage states and there's body part dismemberment as well as bone breaking. There's also a knockout system with replicated ragdoll however that is experimental at the moment but it is also in there. We've also got physics based and blended animations allowing for effortless animation updates based on characters damage state. 300 plus animations, they've also included a zombie AI in here, a movement speed penalty system so if you break your leg for example you're going to be moving slower, a 90 degree turn in place system as well so you don't have to set that up, 3D aim offsets for two hand and one hand animations, they've got velocity based lean and tilt on movement, both male and female HUD with damage markers, bone break hit reactions and much much more, again this has a lot into it on again the ultimate system for dismemberment and bone break so this would be great in your shooter for example any combat game really where if you shoot a player in the arm or an AI for example the arm is going to fall off and then the animations will update accordingly especially if they're holding a gun as well or if you just shoot their leg off or just break their leg for example maybe if you fall down a certain height the leg will break that will be animated and you'll also be moving slower. So again this one is absolutely amazing and you should definitely check it out further. Next we've got the horror dining room this is a dining room with many props for horror scenarios. So even if you don't use the whole room in itself, you can just use the different props in different games which you're creating. And now this includes props, decals and tomb particle effects to help you create atmospheric interior scenarios. And as well as that, all of the textures are in 4K resolution. So everything does have automatically generated collision. The vertex count is between 4 and around 4,500. There are no LODs, 2 particle effects, 60 meshes and 65 materials. 15 being master and 50 being instances, there are 8 decals and 94 textures. So once again this is just a nice little basic one which we've got here but it does work really well and it does look great again even if you're just going to be using the different props in any part of your game and some of the props I imagine would work quite well as well outside of a horror scenario but this does look really good again so definitely check this out. Next we're going to be moving on to the Elite Landscapes bundle pack and this is absolutely amazing. So this features 23 different landscapes with 8K resolution and 7 matte painting quality sky panoramas. So it includes a desert, 2 alien packs, rocky meadows, a rocky hills and a valley. So there's 23 landscapes, 7 sky images, 24 levels with different light setups, original 8K heat maps and a basic landscape material. The texture sizes are all obviously 8K and all the other textures are mostly 4K with a very very small amount being 2K but all of this is very very high quality. It does have automatic collision on and it does also have LODs as well which again increasing efficiency which is very important with 8K. There's 23 landscapes and one static mesh for a sky sphere, 3 base materials, 2 material instances and 4 material functions with 18 textures. Again, this one looks absolutely amazing. All the different landscapes which we've got in here. Again, all for free for this month only. But this does look absolutely wonderful. Especially the alien ones. All the space looks beautiful as well. So again, 100% check this one out. And just download it in case you want to use it later on. Because even if you don't use the landscape per se, you've still got all the AK textures there as well. And next, we're moving on to another great one, which is the surface trails. The surface trail system allows you to capture trails from objects on a surface as main usage example, there's a snow landscape demo with character and physics objects leaving deformation trails after them. So this is one which you may have seen quite a lot in different games, where basically if you're walking through the snow, you are going to be leaving tracks behind. And again, this works for anything, not just walking, but it looks amazing. So the trails are captured and stored in some area around the player's camera, so this system is independent from map size. The attenuation of old trails can be configured, and it can be set to zero so the trails stay forever, inside defined area around the camera. The trail shape is defined by spherical components with configurable hardness, so for example for a box you'd need to attach several components to it. The actors are marked as trail with receivers by applying a special tag to them so it won't work for all of them by default. The system can be used for a big variety of cases, so water, grass, snow, sand, 
anything you can really think of where you'd need trails like this. And the snow landscape example also has dirt underneath the snow if you make the trail deep enough. And they do also have a tutorial on the marketplace page if you need some help setting this up, which would probably be a good idea to look at as well. So it has six blueprints and it isn't network replicated, but again, they do have a tutorial video and you could probably try and build upon it to try and get it replicated as well if you wanted. But again, this one looks absolutely amazing. And finally, last but not least, we've got the Fantasy Cave Environment Set. And this is a game-ready fantasy cave with detailed sculpts for rocks, environments, architecture pieces, and very detailed sarcophagus asset. So it contains rock pieces to build and kit bash environments, floor, ceiling, facade architecture, stone and brick pillars to build environment base as well. It contains a very detailed sculpted model of a sarcophagus, and it also contains a demo and overview levels to showcase the assets and modules in a game environment so you can get a good idea of how you might want to have this set up in your game. All the texture sizes are 4K and 2K as well, and it does have automatically generated collision on it. There are 26 meshes, 30 materials, and 60 textures. And this is going to work on pretty much every development platform you'd want. So this is once again a nice one as well for you to be able to pop it at a level with however you want it to look. And you could probably also use these rocks elsewhere as well, it doesn't have to just be a cave. Because again, you can use all of these packs for anything which you want, the limit is your imagination. But all of this looks absolutely amazing once again definitely recommend getting it. All the different assets which we've got in here look great and the sarcophagus as well does look amazing. So I think that'll be it for this video on going over this month's free assets on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. This month I think they really pulled out of the bag, they really got a lot of great ones on here. So again we've got the Dismemberment and Bone Break, the Horror Dining Room, the Elite Landscapes Bundle Pack, the Surface Trails and the Fantasy Cave Environment Set. Once again all of these to me are absolutely amazing. I think my favourite one this week is either the Elite Landscapes or the Surface Trails. Probably leaning towards the Surface Trails just because that's something which I've really liked in video games for a long, long time. I just think that extra detail is absolutely amazing. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was for this month. I'd love to hear what you have to say. But again, I think that'll be it for this video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you did find this helpful. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.